Perched on a cliff just below the Aceta Head Lighthouse in Florence, the bed and breakfast is in the 126-year-old Lightkeeper's home. This house and making it available for people to really enjoy what life was like 100 years ago is, is my passion. Michelle Corgan is the owner. The historical house, bed and breakfast since 1996, is filled with period antiques and draws visitors from all over the world. We normally do a seven course breakfast at one table and that's kind of a, a highlight for many and a reason why people come to our bed and breakfast is we specialize in, in doing the seven courses of, of wonderful ingredients that are are local and, and significant to um, our region. But that came to an end with COVID restrictions. Corgan was also dealing with expensive restorations for a new well, drain field, and septic system. But with the combination of having to do all three projects within the last two years, and then a pandemic that has pretty much brought our room reservations and events and gift shop to a standstill has just been a burden that is too much to, to carry right now. Revenue from visitors is the only source of money for restorations. Facing a temporary closure, she created a GoFundMe page. I don't like to think about having to cut the staff. I'm, that's why we're doing what we're doing now. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, that would be really difficult. The money will be used to pay staff, replenish lost reserves, and tackle restoration projects. And it's, a lifelong dream to put the original footprint of the light station um, back together. There was no celebration for their 25th anniversary as a bed and breakfast, but Corgan is looking forward to celebrating next Christmas. They've so far raised over $15,000 on the GoFundMe page, and we have all that information on our website at KGW.com. I'm Christelle Kumwe for KGW News.